Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create year month combination from a date field uh, or any other combinations you want uh, using a Power Query function called uh, date.toText and how this can be helpful in your Power BI implementation. Let's see how it works. <music> Uh, there are many reasons why you may want to have a format like this or any other formats. For example, your X axis of the chart might not have enough space to have full month name. Uh, you want to have a shorter version of that uh, and you have a date table how you can achieve something like this. Um, this is possible to do in DAX as a calculated column. It is possible to do in Power Query. I have explained about the DAX method in another video. Find the link to that down in the description below. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do that in Power BI. In Power BI, uh, in Power Query, I mean. In Power Query, if you want to do that, the first thing is to go and open transform data, which will open the Power Query editor for you. Now here I have a simple table with a date column in it, which is uh, a date data type. Uh, ideally, you would have a date you know, table, calendar table, date dimension, whatever you might call it. And that table has a column for year, a column for month, a column for year month combination. You have all these columns in it. Uh, and I have the uh, script for that. You just copy and paste it and you'll have that date table uh, in just a few seconds and uh, the link is again down in the description below however I'm going to just show you that if in any case you just want to do that formatting a special case uh, how you can do that so a uh, very simple step is to add a column add a custom column uh, from the Power Query editor this will bring you the custom column editor something like this uh, where you can write a uh, formula. This is not DAX, this is M formula. Uh, you can use this function, date.toText. Uh, Power Query is case sensitive, so you have to be careful that D is capital T and the other T are capital. Uh, the first input here is the date column that we have the date values in it. Sorry, this column, I mean, uh, that we have the date values in it. The second one is a format string. You can use it without format string and you'll get that converted to a date just like this. If I want to show it to you, like, for example, if I just add a custom column, I'll do that in the same step that we have been. If I just add a custom column here and say this equals to date so if I say this is equal to date dot to text and I just pass that date this will give me the date converted to text but based on the locale of my machine for example my machine is in New Zealand date format so it comes as a New Zealand date format you may uh, have a diff different locale that would come as a different format um, another option is uh, to use it with the format string. So here is the one that I used. Format string, four characters for Y, uh, one space, three characters for uh, M. This is capital M, that is lowercase Y. There's a difference between these lowercase and uh, uppercases in Power Query. Um, instead of, um, I mean, uh, if you want to compare it with DAX, in DAX there's no difference, but here there's a difference between these. So make sure that you use exactly the same characters. This means four digits for the year, one space, and 3M means month three character, which will produce something like this. Now, there are many other formats possible for this, which you can uh, go and try. For example, uh, you can change this to be something like this. Here I have uh, two digits month and four digits year. This is helpful for creating a code column because your month column then has to be sorted by the code column. So ideally you need both. You need this one for showing in your slicers and you need this one for sorting the other one because that is otherwise would be alphabetically sorted. You can create all types of other formats as well. For example, if you want to have something that has a date in it as well, the day itself, you can try something like this. For example, the 
three Ds would actually bring the uh, would bring the day name three digits. If I change it to four, that would be full day name. And I might want to have the day name plus, let's say, um, I want to have also the um, the month and the year. It's up to you how to want, how do you want to build that uh, configuration. You might want to add the day number in here as well and, and many other things. I have a full list of what are uh, format string options, which you can use them in your string and get some uh, really nice result. If you have time also, this would bring some time portions such as uh, minutes, seconds, uh, hours, even time zone information, so quite quite helpful. And you can even use it with some short formats, like D itself would give you the short date and time, lowercase d. Capital case D will give you long date format. Uh, some of these formatting are based on the locale again, so you have to be careful using the locale as well. The third parameter of this is actually the locale. You can path pass the locale like for example if you want this to be converted based on us locale format you can actually pass it as a third parameter here i'm going to skip that for now so whatever formatting you choose and you specify for your for your table at the end you can close and apply make sure that you always have the two columns one is the name column which is the label you want to show in your slicers axis whatever and another is the code column which is more like a numeric version of that. This can be used to sort the other column. Once you have that, when you come to Power BI, you can close and apply. Now I have some extra columns as well, but I don't really need them. I can then go and say this year month column, which is my name column, can be sorted by the year month code column which is the code column. This makes sure that when I have it in a slicer, for example, that year month value, it is sorted correctly instead of alphabetically, it is sorted correctly. I have January, February, March. Um, I have explained about this in another blog um, video. You can check that out. And it is always a good idea to hide this column that is just used for for the sorting. Again, I explained that in another video as well. The main part of this video was about how to use that date.toText function. And there are also datetime.toText function as well. Make sure to check out all the format string available in the link below down to my blog article. I hope this video helps you in your Power BI implementation. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI.